Hello, this tutorial is going to show you um, some basic information about logging on to the ZOS mainframe system at uh, Marist College in Poughkeepsie, New York um, through TCP IP connection as well as creating a basic COBOL program and then uh, using a JCL job card to submit uh, that COBOL program to the mainframe and also go to our SDSF output to check for the output of the compilation to see if we have any errors as well as the uh, any output generated from the COBOL program itself. So right here on the main um, the initial mainframe screen I can either hit log on or L for short so I'm going to log on I'm going to enter my unique user ID my password and then some broadcast messages come up and so what I have right here is the primary option menu of ISPF which allows me to do pretty much anything I want to uh, in the mainframe system as long as I have authority and access uh, given to me as a user and I'm going to enter 2 because 2 is the option which will may allow me to edit to create change create or change source data so I'm going to hit 2 and right here is the information for what's called um, ISPF library which will be where all of my COBOL programs will reside if you notice it is a multi-leveled um, framework where this is the first part is my user ID then we have dot management 3310 which is the name of the course that I'm currently teaching and then COBOL so if you want to think about it as a uh, more structured way of, a, of, of putting together a folder in which we can put our individual COBOL programs in so let me just do this name this COBOL program YouTube hit enter and what I have is a screen come up I'm going to press reset at the bottom or RES uh, to get rid of these warning messages and I'm going to go ahead and cre start creating just a basic COBOL program from scratch uh, and uh, let me hit pause and come back to you just to save time so what I've done right now is created uh, just a very simple uh, program called YouTube that resides in my uh, PDS library data set and essentially all this program is going to do is just display in my SDSF output welcome YouTube to the IBM mainframe now what I need to do is I need to go to my JCL and how I was able to do that going from my YouTube program that I created to um, the screen to actually select uh, a different PDS library if you will is hit the F3 what you'll notice on the mainframe is that you'll be dealing with the F, F keys uh, PF function keys uh, quite a good bit so I'm going to hit F3 which will do two things it will save this file as well as get me out to the the screen that I want to get to so hit F3 and I get here and I'm going to change um, my library instead of COBOL JCL let me come here and at this point I'm not going to get into the individual JCL um, that's for a later tutorial but I want to submit YouTube to this hit submit at the bottom or SUB um, and now what this is asking for is a character to append to this unique user ID right here so that I can find it in the job so let me cr let me just say uh, I want to do you uh, excuse me a Y for YouTube it says it's submitted now what I'm going to be able to see when I hit enter again are the results of my job run and I see I have a return code of 8 so let's go and find that so let me hit enter again and there are two ways that I can go and find uh, the particular output and I gotta get to SDSF anyway so what I can do is hit F3 several times until I get to the main primary option menu and SDSF in this case is option 13 so I can, I can go to this screen and hit 13 
or let me go back to where I was at with my JCL and I can use what's called a fast path and if I know the option is 13 I can hit equals 13 and it takes me to the same spot now I need to hit O to look at my output Q not 0 O and now I need to do a find on my particular job and that was a Y and I see two outputs and let me see what's going on with my COBOL. I'm just going to hit select by the COBOL. In order to scroll down I need to hit F8 and ah simple mistake it says uh, in on line one a program ID paragraph was not found so let me F3 go back out here go to two change my COBOL program excuse me YouTube see some of you will think I did that on purpose when I really did not if you look at the times on this it's actually midnight when I'm doing this so let me F3 out of here to save that go back to my JCL submit this again and this time let's just say X to append it and now my max return code is zero stating I didn't have any compilation errors good equal 13 to go to my output O find KC02289 uh, X and I have two files here the file right here this is the output of my job from the compile link edit and go that was initiated from my JCL job card and then right here is the actual output of my program so let me put an S out here beside that and we should see one line of code saying welcome YouTube to the IBM mainframe hit enter and that's exactly what we see here in the SDSF output so this is the code that's generated from that display statement that I had in the simple YouTube COBOL program. I'm going to hit F3 again and I can do one or two things to look at my output created from my, the compilation uh, link edit and go of my COBOL program I wrote. If I hit S and then enter and I hit F8 I get a long list of information which is um, useful in certain certain instances if you need to find errors with the JCL and things at the very bottom here is the code of my COBOL program that was compiled and we see actually that display statement that was executed to get that uh, welcome YouTube to the IBM mainframe there however if I didn't want to traverse through all that information I'm gonna hit F3 again and instead of an S right here I'm going to hit a question mark and what a question mark does it breaks that output into individual segments so if I wanted to see the code that's generated from my link edit procedure or step in my JCL job card I could come and hit an S right here and hit enter or more than likely what you're going to be able to what's going to help you out the most is if you see in your max CC return codes if something's greater than zero you want to go to your proc step that says COBOL because this is your where your compilation information is at. Hit F7, excuse me, F8 to scroll down. F7 is up and you do not see any errors, which we don't expect. So just to make sure you can get back here, um, I can keep on hitting F3 to get back out to the main ISPF primary option menu, or I can hit F4 which will take me to the primary option menu uh, itself. So let's go ahead and make sure you can get back uh, and see your output. Let me force some errors in here. Let me just misspell procedure and misspell display. Okay, so I know those are going to be errors. Now what I've done is I have told the editor that I want to highlight COBOL reserve words. When I, hit, when I hit high COBOL on the command line, it's going to uh, highlight your COBOL reserve words. So you see that when I misspelled procedure and display, it went from red to green. Uh, let me go back to my JCL. 
select this. My YouTube is the COBOL program that I want to run, so that's still the same. So let me submit this, and let me submit it with an E at the end, just to know that there's going to be errors. Say it's submitted, and now I see max return code of 12 because of those errors. But let's say you don't know exactly what you did wrong, and you need to go to your output to be able to see that. So I'm going to fast path to my SDSF output equals 13, O for output queue. I'm going to do a find on my job ID, E for error, and now I see only a single output file, whereas the other ones, there are two. If the COBOL program has errors in it, compile time errors that are uncorrectable, meaning that the mainframe could not correct them for us, it will not run the COBOL program. And in fact, if I put a question mark here, we will see that it never got beyond compilation. So you don't see a link at X step here, meaning it didn't run. Therefore, the second COBOL, excuse me, the second SDSF output file was not generated from that display statement. So let's come here hit S, scroll down with F8, and I see my errors. So it says on line 11, it says procedure should not begin in area A. In COBOL, remember, we have areas A and B, but essentially this is just saying that procedure is misspelled and procedure is invalid. Now we scroll down uh, to line 13, it says display was invalid. So just go back and correct display and then go back and correct procedure and we should be fine. Now very quickly what you should realize is that in COBOL programming, uh, especially on the mainframe, correct the first error that you see. Uh, you might have a long list of errors generated here in your SDSF output, but always correct at least the first error and then go back and rerun it and submit it through the JCL to see what happens. Because sometimes when you have one error, it um, just kind of has a domino effect on everything else, meaning the COBOL program can't compile past that point. So that's it for this tutorial, uh, just showing you some basic information on how to log in uh, and get to the points uh, the COBOL program, uh, the JCL, and the STS output, output on the IBM mainframe. But just to recap right here, let me go. I've got some basic steps. First of all is you create the COBOL program. Second of all is you create uh, the JCL job card to compile, link it, and go, or in other words, run the COBOL program that you created. You submit the JCL job card to the mainframe. And then the fourth and final step is you're going to check the SDSF output which is option 13 from the main ISPF primary option menu, um, then option O, and then do a find on your job ID and then whatever you appended to it. Um, and then go and check out the output generated from the compile link go step as well as the output um, and, and go from there. Very quickly, if you want to get out of here and log off of the mainframe, I'm going to hit F4 to go back to my main option menu. F3, I'm going to enter a 2, and it says ready, and I'm going to say log off right here. Hit enter, and it should take me back to the main ZOS mainframe system. Alright, that's it. Thanks.